So if you're a freelancer and you want to get like an individual license or you've got your own company and you want to get like small packages and licenses, you can look at all of these options, review them online. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Notando and I make videos on construction, lifestyle and travel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. Please do not forget to like the video. So on today's video, we are going to be discussing commonly used softwares in the South African construction industry. This video is not going to go into detail too much about what each software does, but it is here to make you aware that these are the softwares that are being used. If you go through a lot of job descriptions, these are the softwares that they use. So if you're a student or if you're a working professional and you're looking to expand your knowledge, maybe look out for them and maybe even like reach out and get training for some of these. Let's get into the video. Number one, we have CCS or Candy CCS, which is computer construction software. Construction computer software. Which one is it? Construction computer software. So Candy is an integrated construction management software that gives contractors all the tools they need for enhanced project results. With this software, construction teams are able to use a single user interface to control their various responsibility. Second one is MS Projects. Microsoft Projects is a project management software product developed and sold by Microsoft. It is designed to assist a project manager in developing a schedule, assigning resources to tasks, tracking progress, managing the budget and analyzing workloads. Build Smart. Build Smart is an enterprise accounting software that assists engineering and construction businesses with cost management, regulatory compliance, reporting, budget control, and more. As you know, quantity surveying is not just about quantities. You also need the accounting side of it. So BillSmart is like an accounting software that helps you manage the financial side of it. Um, I'm kind of new to BillSmart, but it's like, um, it's an accounting system that helps with like payments, um, procurement, um, the money side of uh, the construction industry. It helps with that. That's how you even get like your cost sheets and you can track what's happening in the company financially. So it's an accounting system that helps with all sorts of things like procure, like, like I just said, you heard me. Next, we've got the very commonly used Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet developed by Microsoft for Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS. It features calculation or computation capabilities, graphing tools, pivot tables, and a macro programming language called Visual Basics for applications. Excel forms part of the Microsoft Office suite of software. A lot of us are exposed to this from a very, very, very young age, and it is the most commonly used software. DimX. So DimX is, or Dimension X, is world leading on-screen measurement software developed by award-winning software designers and construction industry professionals. So DIMX is a measuring software. So when you're in school, you're taught to take off from the drawings onto like a dimension paper. So what DIMX is, is literally a software that helps you measure. So you're literally like taking off, but using a software. And there, it's not really like a dimension paper because you literally like calibrate everything you can, change the units to like counting in numbers if you want to count doors or if you want to count um measure walls you can literally just like highlight over the wall and then add the dimension somewhere else will create the boq for you or the bills of quantities for you so yeah mx um dimension x is literally like a a a, a, a taking off software system that helps you create that helps you measure i actually do like dim x because it was so when i used it it was so accurate like it's fast it was very user friendly and you like measure quick in a hurry. And then there's JDE. JDE is also an accounting software that is used in the construction industry. It is short for Oracle JD Edward Enterprise. Um, it is 
and integrated ERP software suits. JDE is unique in that organizations running their business processes through the software have a choice of database and deployment options. JD Edwards can be deployed on premise or on the cloud, private, public, or hybrid cloud. So JDE is also like an accounting software. I'm semi familiar with it as well. You can do your payments in it. You can do um, your cost reporting from it, where you move around your accruals. It's, it's an accounting software that helps <laughs> the financial side of quantity surveying. Um, this is where the money kind of like pulls where the quantities are. This is the financial side, the accounting side comes together. So JDE and Bill Smart are the accounting softwares of the construction industry or the, the most commonly used accounting softwares of the construction industry. And then we have WinQS. So WinQS is an efficient, cost-effective software solution for quantity surveyors and cost engineers for the production of cost plans, detailed estimates, multiple cost analysis, and bills of quantities. So WinQS and DimX, I think they work together. If I'm if I remember correctly, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. QTO. So QTO is actually linked to Candy, which is the first software that I started with. So Candy QTO, which is interesting because it stands for quantity take off, which is taking off quantities, is linked to Candy. But what it does is um, it provides an on-screen takeoff and quantity measurement solution. QTO is like DIMX. It is an on-screen measuring tool where you can link it to your BOQ and measure directly onto the BOQ. It is very, it can be very effective. I feel like they can refine the measuring tools slightly more, but I actually enjoyed when I finally got to understand how it fully works. So QTO is linked to Candy. I don't think you can have it without Candy. But as soon as you have Candy, you have free access to QTO where you upload your drawings, um, you can measure from it and then link it to your BOQ, kind of make it like a whole wholesome system. There are some flaws depending on how you want to do this. Not everyone can measure at the same time. And like DIMX, DIMX, you can have multiple people measuring the same drawing at the same time. Um, there are some, I'm not going to go into all those details because I'm not like doing a review for like big companies that are looking at getting software. So this is just so that you know which software to look out for. Um, which training you can go to especially if you're not um offered or granted the opportunity to to to, to go through a company because usually you go through the training because you work for a certain company and the company work, uh, requires you to have the software so maybe if you're a freelancer and you want to get like an individual license or you've got your own company and you want to get like small packages and licenses you can look at all of these options review them online um i would recommend no i'm not gonna recommend no one's paying me to recommend anything so i shall not recommend but um they're all I've, I've been i'm so glad that i've been exposed to a majority of the ones on the list and they all have their pros and cons you just need to find out what works for you and what you can actually afford but at the end of the day qsing you can even do on excel at the end of the day you know but to make your life much easier a software that has like an accounting system and all of that makes it easier and for measuring i think a uh, on-screen quantity quantity taking off software also makes life way easier than actually measuring on pen and paper with the highlights and stuff like that so yeah that's it for this video i hope you found it useful um i just had this idea i had this idea a long time ago initially i wanted to review the different types of softwares but i think i'll save that for much later on when i feel like i've fully immersed myself in all of them and i've gotten a glimpse of how they all work and what i personally like from all of them but yeah i hope you found it useful i hope you know what to look out for and if you're searching for the best software for you i hope that this list helps has given you like a start into your research so yeah thank you so much for watching see you later in another almost an industry see you later in another video please don't forget to like share and subscribe mm.